What's up, secondary students? Nice to see you again. I hope you had a good time and learned a lot analyzing the video games. But today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Okay, now, have you ever heard of an escape room? Okay, it might sound familiar. If you haven't, okay, we're going to look into more detail. All right, now you you see the different objects, the different props I have on the table, okay? For example, this one here, rice, a pot, okay, a globe, and chili. Now, what would be the connection? How would you connect all of these things? How would you analyze? How would you, how would, would you think these objects, these props are connected? All right, so you can imagine, now we have two envelopes here. Let's have a closer look. Okay, we have one which says, first clue. And then we have one where it says, deposit here. And it says, the, another word, clues. All right, so, you're going to, so imagine you are playing, all right, and you are preparing this. Okay, so you're going to need to open the envelope with first clue. All right, and as you can see, there is a word inside on a post-it, okay? Now the word, what's the word? The word is map, a map, okay? So you can think you might have a map, you might not have a globe, but you might have access to a phone and, okay, that could also be useful as well. So now in this case, what would be the connection? This first clue would be connected to a map. Of these possible objects here, which one could be the map? Obviously, it's the globe. Now, I would have to look. Now, this is the second clue. I would have to look on the globe. Now, I'm going to look. All right. And you can see there is the second clue, which says the word spice. Okay. Spice on. Okay. You can see the country here. All right, on India, all right? So now, so imagine you are playing this game. You are distributing the clues around your house. Think of different places in your house to put the different objects. Some objects, you might find them in the kitchen. Some you might find in the bedroom, all right? Be creative with it, okay? So we have an Indian spice, an Indian spice. What could it be? We looked at it before. What was the word? What's the Indian spice? Which could be the Indian spice from these four objects. Obviously, it's the chili. Now, on the chili, okay, we have a word here. It says tikka. Okay, let me explain one moment. Okay, tikka is a typical Indian dish, which is made of the following ingredients. Let's have a look. Okay, so tikka is made of chili, chicken, Okay, and then we have some question marks as well. So now what could be what could be the next clue? What could be the connection? All right, so we have chicken, chili, and what could be one of the possible options of the things that we have here on the table? Remember, these things are going to be distributed and hidden around your house, in the garden as well, if you have one. Okay, so the connection, chili, chicken, and of course, it is rice, okay? Now we've, we have the rice. What would be the connection? So we've already used the other clues. This last connection to the pot. What would we have to do with the pot? So what's the connection between the rice and the pot? So to cook the rice, you would need to boil it. We're not going to boil, but the connect connection would be inside this pot. All right, so that's just to see, all right, three or four examples, but you can extend it, okay, with 10, 20, 30, as many as you like, okay? So make it difficult. Also get your brothers or sisters to participate, your parents as well, and let's see if you have a good time practicing this escape room, okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. See you very soon, and take care, guys. Bye-bye.